Today I'll walk you through a brief overview of our DocuSign developer website. This will be followed up with an example of how to send a document for signature with pre-populated information via our DocuSign API Explorer tool. Using that same tool, I'll also show you how to embed the signing experience into your UI and receive real-time notifications to a webhook from DocuSign Connect. DocuSign's developer website is full of information and examples to help get you up and running quickly. In order to navigate to the website, just type in developers.docusign.com. Here you can self-service create a sandbox account and log into DocuSign once it's been created. The website's broken down into APIs, resources, and communities to help you along the way. Within the APIs tab, you can see that most people are utilizing REST, which I'll click into. These can be broken down into further categories, overview, guides to help walk you through integrating, code examples to get up and running quickly, API reference to give you an understanding of the different methods, SDKs and tools are also helpful resources and support for different areas to find answers besides Google. The tool I utilize the most is our API Explorer. In order to give you an example of how you could pre-populate a form with information that's sent out for signature, let's use the API Explorer. The first thing we need is the account ID we're sending from. Next is the transaction or envelope definition. We need the subject, status, sent, and the template ID, so DocuSign knows which document or documents to send out. Next are the roles, or who's signing the document. The role name corresponds to whatever name you gave the template recipient associated to those tags. Now we want to pre-populate some information, which we already have a placeholder for on the template. The tab label corresponds to the template's tag data label. We can pre-populate that with company ABC. I could hit send and this would go to the email, but I also want to show you how to allow for signing within your application, utilizing embedded signing. To let DocuSign know this will be signed within your application, we can populate the client user ID with a value that we will reference later. When I hit send, we can see a sample request and response containing the envelope ID, which is the unique transaction ID. If we go back into the DocuSign web app, we can see the status of the envelope and check to see that the information was actually populated as well. For embedded signing, we are going to have to reference similar items, but also the client user ID to allow that user to sign off on the document. Throughout this entire process, you can also get real-time push notifications utilizing DocuSign Connect. DocuSign Connect can be set up with a webhook like this one. I'll copy this webhook address and go into my account admin settings. Under Integrations, I'll click Connect, Add Configuration, and publish an example webhook to show what the XML payload will look like. Now in the Explorer, when I hit Send, I'll get a link to the signing session as an embedded signer. This link can now be used to render that signing experience anywhere within your application. When I click the link, I'm automatically brought into the signing session. This is just like clicking our out-of-the-box email delivery link, only now it can be embedded into your UI. From here, they go through the same signing experience everyone is used to and click Finish. Once the signer is finished, we can see a real-time notification is sent from DocuSign Connect to the webhook we had just set up. With a quick text reader and cleanup of the formatting, we can see an easier to read output of the data that was pushed, modified, and even captured during this entire process, along with the completion status.